What is going on everybody? It is PJ here. Like, um, this is going to be a short, sweet, simple video. As you can see, I'm currently driving. I literally just left the movie theater for watching Spider-Man No Way Home. A fantastic movie. Probably, probably one, probably my favorite MCU movie. I, uh, Spider-Man is my favorite favorite Marvel character so I'm probably biased there but I loved everything about this movie there wasn't a single second of this movie where I don't where I you know stopped paying attention I or I looked at my phone like I didn't even touch my phone during this movie um this this movie uh Spider-Man No Way Home is a quintessential Spider-Man movie. Now, now, don't get me wrong. Like it, it has its things with the MCU, and it has its fan service and everything. But I think overall, I think this movie is probably the best superhero superhero film next to Avengers: Endgame. I love this movie. I enjoyed this I, I enjoyed the hell out of this movie I like seeing it in the theater with a crowd full of people to me was incredible incredible like we cheered we yelled we screamed um I I, I cried twice um like I had genuine tears in my face like I literal literal tears and then there was probably I, I was telling this to my buddy I was like there was a genuine third time where I I was like happy sobbing, it was it was weird. It was very very weird for me to get emotional and at a movie like I did like that. Um, but like it, it was it, the movie was phenomenal. Um, it, it I like I I don't want to get into too much without spoiling. Because I feel like this movie has so many things that can be spoiled. Like, everybody knows that Dr. Octavius is back. Doc, you know, Dr. Octopus. Everybody knows that the Green Goblin's back. Everybody knows that Sandman's back. Everybody knows that, you know, um, you know, Electro is back. All played by different people in different universes, right? From, like, the Sam Raimi trilogy to the An Andrew Garfield trilogy. This movie was by far the best Spider-Man movie, I think. And don't get me wrong, like, I loved, I loved Homecoming and I loved No Way Home. I mean, uh, excuse me, uh, Far From Home. I loved those movies. I loved all of them. Um, but this, I think this probably had to have been... My favorite, st uh, my my favorite Spider-Man movie. Like I, I'm like mixing up my words here because I'm like so excited. Um, but yeah, like this, like this movie was top to bottom, fantastic. And I like I don't even want to get into the post-credit scenes. Uh, but if you guys watch it, just know there's two, there's two post-credit scenes. Stay for them both. Please, stay, for the love of God, stay for them both, because, bah, mind blown. Um, but yeah, that, that's just my quick mini review, literally on my way out of the movie theater. Um, I'm going to do a full spoiler review probably after I see it with my buddy Curtis, because I don't want to spoil anything for him. He's actually watching uh, Far, From, uh, Far From Home tonight. Uh, and he just watched Homecoming the other day, so we're gonna, he's gonna watch Far From Home tonight, and I think we're gonna go see The Matrix, and then we're gonna go see No Way Home again, I'm gonna see No Way Home again with him next week, um, so I am super excited for that, and I, like, I can't wait, so once I do a review, so once I do something with that, then we'll, uh, then we'll come back and do it together, um, but for, you know, if you guys have the opportunity to, please go see this movie, Especially see it with a crowd. Um, I know COVID is still a thing and everything, and I know people are afraid for crowds, but I'm telling you, having crowd reaction and crowd participation during this made it so much better. 
Anyways, guys, my name is PJ. That was my quick no, no Way Home spoiler-free review right fresh from the movie theater. So, guys, until next time, I'll see you later.